You are now listening to 15 Minutes of Fame Radio. Let's go! 15 Minutes of Fame Radio. Now stepping into 15 Minutes of Fame Radio. Yeah. Jam right there. The big brother, homie, man. man. Now, brother. now you know, uh, you know, not to get right into it, but you know, the whole you know URL thing. Everybody's waiting for you to respond and all this shit. Let, can I can I just explain? You know that we had this interview booked for three weeks. Cosign already. Cosign. You know what I'm saying? Before Co-sign. before the whole you know angry fan Beasley situation popped up. You know when he was talking about you. You want me? You want me to add more to that? You yeah, want me to add yeah. more to that. I yeah. mean, it's 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 time to turn up things for Blood, Sweat, and Tears, November first, yeah. one p.m. at Club Drum. Y'all seeing we dropped the movie trailer. You know what I'm saying? We got another trailer on the way, and there's people that genuinely, genuinely fuck with RBE. Fifteen minutes of fame. Uncle Ryan, Heavy Bags is one of them. Definitely. So I hit Bags up weeks ago, like, yo, it's that time. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna come up there and hang out with you. You know what I'm saying? You know we always gonna get it in when we up here. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? The other shit happened after. Word. You know what I'm saying? And, so. and, and let me just say this too. And the only reason why it looked like this is a response was because I was late on the banners. Yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I should have had this banner done two weeks ago, but I actually did it on Tuesday, which was exactly the same day that the situation happened with bees. Yeah, but I got it out there for you though. Cool, cool. <laughs> now, I just want to say that because I don't want the people to think that, oh, you just came on here to, you know, shit on URL or whatever. Yeah, 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 because yeah. it's not that. Yeah, you know nah, what I'm nah, saying? Nah, but nah, there nah. is facts that I want to know, and I'm yeah. sure the people want to know. Yeah. So, you know, as you heard, the angry fan, Beasley. I did hear you it. You know? I did hear it. Uh, what was your thoughts about it before we get into I mean, I know a lot of people is tuned in right now waiting for that. And, and right. some people got their popcorn out right now. Mm-hmm. All right. Let me start off by saying the, the, the ether that can come tonight ain't going to come. Where? All right. The, the details and, and the descriptions and the facts that I could pull out my pocket easily are not going to come tonight. We're going to touch on a few things tonight. Don't get it twisted. I'm not going to leave y'all hanging. We're going to mm-hmm. touch on a few things. Word. We're going to correct a few things. But we're going to be respectful and we're going to handle this. It's not even a situation to say handle this, but we're going to go about this as men of honor and men of respect. Mm-hmm. So said that, Bags, what's up? All right, so... You know, like from what I got out of the out of the interview, yeah. I well, first and foremost, shout out Caps you know, Three Letter Man Tim yeah, Wing. Shout out to the big homies AFM movie man. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Um, from what I got out the interview was, you know, f- first and foremost, Beasley um, downplayed even knowing you. Yeah. Number yeah. one, Mike Jones. A- and you know, so this I-, I seen him at your first event. I seen him doing drops. Stuff like yeah, that for I you. I've seen him there too. Um, yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But as far as, you know, the actual, you know what I mean, conversation that, that he had with Angry Fan, he, he kind of made, you know, it out to be like you were Koch Records or yeah, something, yeah. the graveyard. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we don't want to fuck with them, so y'all are going to fuck with him now. Oh, we'll you know get, what we'll I mean? get into that too. Now, you know, like the whole him not knowing you situation. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. do y'all know each other or you know what's going on with that first of all i don't know when you say no like no no i don't know a lot of these motherfuckers you know what i'm saying in this game but let me take this camera right here right let let me take this opportunity to humbly introduce myself for the fourth time Mm. to mr e beasley all right not the first not the second the fourth time Mm. i go by arp all right i'm the co-owner of a little small Small up and coming entertainment platform, not Battle Rap League, entertainment platform by the name of Rare Breed Entertainment. All right, we do put on battles. Thank you for saluting us and saying that we have a great platform. Thank you for saying that you checked us out and we have great production. That means a lot coming from the, the, the spokesperson and the owner of the most respected Battle Rap League in the world. So Word. thank you for that. Thank you for that shout out. But um, you, you also sent another shot that I caught, ARP, what does that stand? I ain't no fucking rapper, okay? Don't stand for no always ready and prepared and no <laughs> dumb shit, all right? The people that's actively following the battle rap culture and down in the battle rap communities and shit, y'all know that y'all could call me A, you could call me AR, you could call me ARP, you can call me Adam for all I care. It's family shit, 
ARP, all right? So. And they call you ARP? Don't call me ARP. <laughs> <laughs> don't call me ARP. Don't call me ARP. But um, right. just, just to introduce myself. I got you back. Yeah, yeah, no, no. Just to introduce myself again, all right? So now, being that you didn't know me or whatever, I've just introduced myself again. But, you know, you took your shots. It was fun. Now, I'm going to take mine now, too. Mm-hmm. All right? So. I know that when you get a little older sometimes, you know, your memory evades you oh, and shit like that. You you forget things sometimes when you get a little older, right? You know what I'm saying? I don't know how old Beasley is, but shout out to however old he is. <laughs> um, do you remember when, when we, you mentioned Nels. You mentioned I should speak to Nels. First of all, I'm not going to have a conversation with Nels about owners having issues. But shout out to Nels. That's a cool young girl right Sister, there. Sister, Nels. Shout out to Nels. But um, since you brought up Nels, speaking to Nels. Do you happen to remember when we was on the phone, we had a nice, good 20, 30-minute conversation about battle rappers and business and the fact that we owners, we lose so much money using, using Western Union for battle rappers that don't have PayPal. And speaking of Nels, we spoke about Nels on that conversation. Word. We spoke about on the Lift His Soul card doing Nels versus who? Who? Uh, Bullshit Grand. Oh, Brand. oh, you know about that. Okay, oh, okay, <laughs> okay. So, so Beasley and I, you, I was the same guy. We was on the phone chopping it up about doing that battle. And we discussed how we would work it out. Right. You know, uh, um, RBE, we would keep the footage being that we was going to pay for the battle. That was just RBE being RBE, doing a left field battle, giving Nels an opportunity because I fuck with Nels as a person. She's a cool girl. The battle fell out because Rain felt that Nels didn't deserve an opportunity to battle, battle her because she never had a battle before. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That's why the battle fell out. That's why y'all didn't see it on Lift His Soul. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So then we hung up the phone. Yo, any issues, whatever, reach out, yada, yada. Just to refresh your memory, hopefully, as a prominent businessman in this big culture of ours, hopefully, when you're on the phone conducting business, you know who you're talking to. So that was me, once again, the, the, the RBE guy. You know what I'm saying? But that's neither here nor there. So... Let's get a little bit deeper into Mr. Beasley's interview. We're going to stay respectful. Don't worry. Everybody has got their popcorn. We're going to stay respectful, all right? Now, this whole thing about, about you know, you, you spoke to Smack and, and, and he don't know who you are, shun. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I mean, what you're really doing is you're really telling the public that, you know, certain people over there aren't connected with the culture. Now, not to sound big-headed, but I mentioned earlier, I mean, I, I, I could have swore Rare Breed Entertainment was, like, voted, like, second place for League of the Year and everything. I'm a fan. I pay attention. I could tell you the owner of the, of the Dallas car. Shout out to the homie True. A lot of people can't say that, but I pay attention Word. because not only am I a fan, but I follow the culture also as a businessman. So the whole thing about if you're following other people's business, who's following yours, you're supposed to follow everybody's business around you if you're a good promoter. You think Pepsi doesn't pay attention to Coca-Cola? You think Android doesn't pay attention to Apple? Right, of course. Yeah. <laughs> all right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Let's make sense, people. Let's make sense, all right? So you're really kind of going out there and you're admitting that one of the owners over there is disconnected from the culture, but that's neither here nor there. The real fact is you should have asked your other owner slash partner about me. And you would have gotten, hopefully, if you would have kept it real, a laundry list of details of history of who this guy ARP is. All right, right. Okay? And that person is Norbs. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Pardon Let's do me. It. Now, staying on Norbs, we're going to be respectful, like I said. All right. <sighs> but at the same time, we're going to say something that nobody is saying. So, Beasley, I expect you to back up your pup. I expect you to back up your friend, your partner, your co-defendant, your, your co-owner. But what a lot of people must not be telling y'all is that your partner, Norbs, is down here on the ground causing h- havoc. He's being disrespectful to a lot of battle rappers, a lot of owners, a lot of bloggers, a lot of radio personalities. He's a disrespectful person, all right? Extremely disrespectful person. And I know he carries himself and he, he, he self-stamps himself as an asshole. This is what he calls himself. He says, come to know him and boo me. This is how he's a grown man, but this is how he wants to portray himself and carry himself. One of the faces of the biggest battle rap league in the world, the most respected. Right. If he chooses to carry himself as a child, that's fine. But one of the facts is when you swing that sword towards RBE, 
that's where the buck got to stop because mm -hmm. we, we live by certain principles. We expect a certain amount of respect because that's what we give to people. You see what I'm saying? So you possibly should have had a conversation with Norbs about who ARP is, the person that's a little bit more involved with battle rap, a little bit more understanding with what, what's happening in the culture, and maybe he would have filled you in. Word. Okay? Now, also heard Beasley mention about being a man, and he gave an example of Ted Grizzle saying that, you know, he was around Ted Grizzle, and Ted Grizzle had a problem. He should have reached out to him and all this shit, and yada, 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 yada. So the history of RBE and URL slash Norbs has all been behind the scenes and off record. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, we have mutual friends that we've went through to, to, to deliver messages to each other. And I've reached out to Norbs, you know, a few times in the past as well when I felt that he was taking shots at us. Okay. And this isn't just the, the speculation with sensitive type of shit. Don't get it twisted, y'all. We're not talking about, like, if you say a model, you know, um, you know, only respect the, the innovators, not the image. I'm not sensitive. I don't give a fuck. Y'all do y'all business ploys and all that. That's not the shit I'm talking about. I'm talking about shots directly at ARP, which uh -huh. is me, and directly at my company that I reached out to Norbs about. And I asked him to contact me behind the scenes, and I said, let's talk like men several times. The responses that I got was, yeah, 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 we're going to talk. Never heard nothing from him. Then that passed. And then a mutual friend hits me up and says, and he knows who this mutual friend is. Yeah, yeah, he wants to call you now. Well, my number didn't change since the last time. Call me. Never heard from the man. Okay. To have a man-to-man -man conversation, first of all, you got to be a man. And second of all, you got to have a conversation. Word. Right? So this is all behind-the-scenes shit <clears throat> of, of me trying to make sure that the problems and the issues that I have and the questions that I have and the spite that I feel is handled off record behind the scenes like men, but nobody wants to talk. Or now, can you get into like I, I mean I, I know like you know you had the battle issue with JC and Adi, you know what I'm saying? Um, there was speculation they tried to stop it, you know what I mean? Um, Not they, tried to. You know, oh, so he did. Yeah. Know? Okay. But yeah. but my thing is like you know where does this all stem from? Why you? You know what I'm saying? Why? <clears throat> You versus, you know, it's not you versus URL. You nah, know what I'm saying? It's nah, more nah, of nah. you and Norbs. You know what I'm saying? I, I wouldn't even say that is 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 ARP and Norbs mm -hmm. because from the many, many conversations that I have with reputable, pe reputable people in the battle rap culture, the battlers, the media people, the radio stations, the owners, right. a lot of people seem to have problems with Norbs. And a lot of people feel to seem disrespected by Norbs. But what I see is, is, is the case, and shout out to Angry Fan. I hope you tuned in, homie. I got a lot of respect for Angry Fan. That's yeah, my man. My homie. You know what I'm saying? But it's out because the, the interview is out. You know, I set that example when I asked him about one of his block battles. Yeah. And, you know, and, they, and Angry Fan said respectfully, like, ah, nah, we ain't going to go there right now. And I respect that. But it gets deeper than that in certain situations. You know, you got a lot of people that have problems with this man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But the difference with RBE is that we don't care about burning that bridge. We don't want to be your friends to answer your question, Beasley. And no, I don't want the attention because obviously I reached out and I spoke to, I tried, actually I did speak to this man behind the scenes, ask him. Mm -hmm. We've been back and forth over text. So obviously I don't want the attention and I could tell you right now, man to man, I don't want the friendship. We're good. I don't need no friends. You know what I'm saying? We don't want nothing from URL. Right, right. You see what I'm saying? So where it all started, I'm, I may not be the best suited to answer that question. All I know is that I'm not stupid. I'm not naive. There's been personal shots towards ARP myself on OKR radio. You know what I'm saying? There's been shots at my cars, shots at the people I fuck with. There's been spite. There's been things that I think aren't coincidence that has happened. And when I wanted to speak to motherfuckers man to man, everybody says to me, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm going to call you. I'm gonna call. And, and niggas disappear. And when I see people face to face, Everything is a different story too. Word. You know, I seen the last two times. All right, the last two times I seen Norbs, I'm not gonna say here. I'm not gonna speak about how that went. You know what I'm saying? Word. But all the shit that's happening off, off, off record should have been done in clothes as men. You know what Word. I'm saying? Word. But nobody <laughs> wants to. You know what I mean, I, I, I could answer that, man. I think it started with people see ARP, they see potential, they see, they see something about to grow, they see. They see something about to go down, and that's when the shade comes in, and the hate comes in. You're a threat, man. Word, word. That's what it is. Now, You're a threat. Now, let me ask you this, though. Um, do you do you guys need URL? 
So you go ahead and read that <laughs> as I answer your question. Um, do I need URL? The, an the answer is no. And, and, you know, you have certain people out there with opinions, and I respect the opinions uh, of, you know, it's easy to come into battle rap because they, they, they set the stage. You know what I'm saying? They open the doors. And URL as a platform in a battle rap league, they absolutely did. Shout out to URL as a battle rap league and platform. You know what I'm saying? They, you see them the home of some madness, the home of known. You right. know, they're on UFF, BET, and all that. They des I don't deserve that shit. Yeah, yeah. They deserve that shit. It takes a man to admit shit like that. There's no, there's no faking and bullshitting in me. It takes a man to, deser to, to admit that. They deserve those looks. But in terms of need URL, the, the answer is absolutely no. Mm. You know what I'm saying? We can have 50 people show up to our events, but ask the battle rappers if they got all their money. Matter of fact, pass that. Let's remix that. Fuck if the battle rappers got all their money. Ask the battle rappers if they got an extras. All right, so financially, there's no problems. The drive is obviously there. The business knowledge and intellect is there. RBE is my fun business. It's my pleasure business. It's my love, my passion business. But there's places and there's offices that you could walk into and they'll say, ARP or Adam is the boss of this place. I own other businesses. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Alex from, from Kush DVD. Shout out to Goods. You know, they'll tell you. Where, you know what I'm saying? Um, so uh, need URL for what? Now, now you know, people be you know saying uh, uh, about the you know whole you know you not stealing but booking URL battlers. Yeah, let's get to that. You know, into your events. Yeah, let's you get know to what that. I mean, <clears throat> like, why do you feel like you become a target and not king of the dot because they're doing the same thing? Damn, or, that's that's you, a you that's a that's, a that's that's like, a great question. You know, I mean, you know, what is it about you? I mean, I could just give you opinions on that or, or guesses. Is it because we're also in New York? Or is, is it that? I don't know. You know. It's very easy to shout King of the Dot out when they're over there selling their cars to a totally different demographic and fan base that'll never be in New York or in, or in the tri-state area. I, these are just, I don't know. I'm just saying things that, that would be logical. You know what I'm saying? But, I mean, even, even if that was the case... I'll admit, shout out to URL when they make those claims. That shoe does fit certain platforms and leagues, right, right. you know, but that don't fit RBE. We could go down our cards if you want, and if we s spoke about every single battler that we booked and where I know them from as the co-owner of RBE, you're going to see it's a very low percentage of people that are currently working with URL, worked with them at all, you know what I'm saying, or worked with them recently. It's a very low percentage. Ill Will, absolutely. I, I know Ill Will from URL. Word. That's why I know Ill Will. You know what I'm saying? Flames, Bones, Bones Brigante, Duchess, Blu-ray, Oops, Bonnie, you know what I'm saying? Um, Swave Sever. You know, I don't know these people from URL. I can move on to these other cards, too. All these people. Look at our undercards. You know what I'm saying? K Walker, Crazy George. You know what I'm saying? Uh, um, Sin City, Cash Capone, Jay Worth, Lex, Lex, Lex Luthor. Yeah, yeah. You know, I don't know these people from URL, you know what I'm saying? Even Adi Boom and Show Off, for example. I know Show Off from Trap House. That's where we met. That's how we said, you know what, we're going to bring you to RBE. Shout out to No Mercy and Peso. Adi Boom, I know him from Quiet Room, battling Merrick City and battling Dose. I think, what was that, on Spitters? That's where I know them from. Yeah. I'm sorry if everybody doesn't follow the, the, the culture as much as I do, but I understand the fact that when you have the second or the third biggest youtube channel in the world and when you put somebody on your platform everybody thinks that you created them i understand that i get it right, right. but that's not the fact though not with rbe okay. so let me let me let me let me just you should have dropped some bombs earlier <laughs> so. you missed you missed some of my bombs my my <laughs> but let me let me let me say this because this is not um a url or beasley or norb show right. I, I know that's what a lot of people are tuning into because people flock to the controversy yeah that's the world that we live in so let me close it out like this once again, I could have came up here with a, a fucking ether interview. Okay. I could have released like a blog or a video with a bunch of fucking video references and text messages and screenshots and reminders and facts and all that. Sh I could have done that easily because to me, Beasley's um, interview is extremely flawed to an right, intellectual right. and an intelligent person that lives on facts like myself. Right. 
You know what I'm saying? I, I could ether this interview right here. Mm -hmm. But once again, the, the text message that I just showed you was a text message that was sent the night of that Angry, fa angry Fan Radio show. Okay. Right? You saw it? You, okay. Did you read it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So not only that right there, along with when I said, Norbs and I have been in touch several times, but it takes a man to have a man-to-man -man conversation. We're going we're gonna to do it like this one last time, and then we're going to move on. Okay. If there is still confusion, because Beasley conf c says that he's so confused about where all this comes from. If you're so confused, give me a call. I, met, I reminded you of a conversation we had on the phone, so you should still have my cell phone number. But if you don't have it anymore, get it from Norbs. If Norbs doesn't have it any anymore, get it from Nels. If Nels doesn't have it anymore, get it from Bags. Get it from Angry Fan. Get it from Chris Unbiased. We have a lot of mutual friends. Word. All right? Give me a call, and I will gladly unconfuse you. Now, if you were just talking to talk, I'm confused. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't understand. Then fine. Then you guys go back to doing your URL thing. We're going to go back to doing our RBE thing. There's going to be no disrespect or slander thrown your way. But I guarantee for every action that comes our way, there will be a reaction. So we could just act like nothing ever happened and go our separate ways and do us. But if you wasn't talking to talk... And you really are confused. Give me a call and I will unconfuse you. <laughs> I will fill you in. Word. Okay? So we're going to leave it like that. November 1st, Blood, Sweat, and Tears, 1 p.m. Club Drum. 15 Minutes of Fame. You are now listening to 15 Minutes of Fame Radio. Let's go. 15 Minutes of Fame Radio. Now stepping into 